Should I play some football manager? Oh, go on then. Where was I? Sweden? Ah, yes, okay. I should really get a flight. And tell Abby I'm not going to be back for a few months. Yes, hello viewers. Welcome back to TYC uh, FM23 version. And sorry it's been so long. There's been a lot going on. I'm sure as you've seen kind of on posts and videos on the channel, you know kind of where I've been at with Christmas and everything going on. And I've been making plans. The Rifle Manager is still a massive part of that. It's just trying to find that equilibrium with everything else that I kind of want to do at the same time. And living a life and hopefully putting a family together at some point or another. Not like picking online or anything like that. Like Anyway, the irony of this is is that I've got a few saves going on at the moment that I've been playing every Christmas. This is the best one, other than my Bournemouth save, which is amazing. I might go bring that onto Twitch. I don't know. There will be a Twitch save coming soon. This isn't meant to be a plugging episode, Mike. This save is going brilliantly with Landsvetter. Um, We are sick. It's probably the best way to put Sick, bruv. Oh, God. I'm so, I'm so 90s. But since last time we met, where we beat Vastra Frölunda and Itaby, we've won three games on the bounce. Top notch. Do you know where that leaves us? Top of the league, which we already were, but by a whopping 10 points. And today, viewers, we take on second placed Burger King Astrio. Yes, I know it's not what BK stands for, but I'm enjoying the fact that we can call it that. Plus, it makes me hungry. I love the Burger King. What's your favourite takeaway of choice or favourite fast food establishment? Let me know in the comment section. Always a good one. I like fast food. As you can tell. Moving on swiftly. And then after that, we're playing on Sala. We're still unbeaten in the league. And we've not really got that much in the way of games left. I say that. We're nearly halfway through the season. And we're still absolutely smashing it. The players have been unreal. Um, Hussein has got 13 goals in 15 Patrick Wallen's got 12 in 14. Uh, Romani's got 8 assists, 2 goals. It's just been phenomenal. We could have a little bit of a problem because we've got a lot of PIs on yellow cards. So at some point or another, we're going to have to swap the squad around. And that's where I think I'm going to get a little bit... Because you can tell down here, the first 11 is brilliant. But then you look at the rest of them, the overalls aren't great. Right, let's get stuck into it then. Burger King Astrio are up first. And we're going with the same squad, as usual. The diamond formations work perfectly since I brought it in, so we're going to stick with that. Uh, Hansen's a goal. Benton, Landegren, Lindbaum, and Gary Neville at the right back. Maybe I should just do that. I like leaving you a sore name, but Swedish Gary Neville. Noah, Sol Magnussen is at right back. Then you've got Gorgos, Wallin, and Romani in the middle. Hedlund, Hussein, Anderson up front. They've got some decent players. Sten Proust is a very good player, so we need to watch out for him. And I think Ludwig Carlsen's a decent acquisition as well, so... Let's see how we get on. They're second in the form table. We're first. I expect us to thump them. I don't want to say this is a title decider. It kind of is, I'd like to think. Unless there is a huge, huge drop-off and a bottle job of epic proportions. Um, we should win this league, hands down, if we win this game. Berg's den. Back to Gulda, who whips it in. That's... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell was that? I'd <laughs> Hansen in goal, boom bop in goal. That's incredible. Oh, Hansen, he saw a, he saw a number one single and he he just went for it. That was genius, absolutely genius from Hansen. We've not made a good start to this game. I thought we had. We really haven't. This has been really poor. Astro have made a much better start. But hopefully we can be a bit more clinical. Bengtsson on the ball here. Plays it back to Lindegren. That's a nice ball over the top looking for Hussain. He nods it on. Anderson's there. Boom. The front two combine yet again. William Henderson makes it 1-0 within 10 minutes. I love this save. AKA there should be more episodes, Mike. And there will be. I'm going to try and make sure there's at least two or three episodes of this coming out a week for you guys going forward. Because otherwise we're not going to get anywhere. Sorry, I was just choked up by how beautiful that goal was. And also by the sugar puffs I just demolished. So I'm going to praise the boys. I think that's a, a good thing to do. Do they? Some of them like it. The rest of them are just like, yeah, whatever, mate. It's not really you down to you that we're here. So shut up. 
That's uh, some really lazy play there by uh, whoever it was who took the corner. But we got loads of men back. I make sure that we keep a lot of men back from the corner. Headlands just nipped in there. That should have been a bit more on target. Ah, set piece. Goulder whips it in. He's got a good delivery on him, that bloke. But it's Hussain. Now we're going to catch him on the counter. This is what we're really good at. Hussain. He's ran a hell of a long way there. Finds Headland. That's a decent ball. It's not. It's terrible. And uh, we've really wasted the opportunity there, Headland. You donkey. What are you playing at? That's a lovely switch to Goulder. This guy seems a bit good. Goulder, he's got great delivery on him. Carlson, don't not you. I said about you at the start. That's woeful. Continue. Carry on, Carlson. Don't let me stop you, mate. I mean, I'm a bit meh about about our, how we've been playing in this game. It's not really very good, is it? We've not played very well. Let's put it that way. This is better. Wallin, Hussein. Come on, Hussein. Finds Gorgos. Gorgos, Romani. Go on, Gary. Gary Neville on the ball to Romani. He's one of my favourite player, Romani. I love him. I think he's brilliant. Lindbaum over the top. Looking for Anderson. Anderson's in. One touch. Awful finish. Did all these hard bit. Then bug it up the end. Well, we won the up at the break. I wouldn't say we deserve it. It's been a pretty slow going game, actually. I thought normally it goes through quite quickly. But for a game that's only had one goal. And not that much in the way of chances. It's been a bit kind of... I don't want to say... Hard work, but it has been um, a little bit. And we're making hard work of this game as well. Although they are the second best team in the league. So it does make sense. Romani, there you go, 2 0. And I think that probably at cemented promotion, maybe. I don't want to say it, but it, it would have to be a bottle drop of epic proportions. It would have to be a Dr. Benji esque. Um, bottle job from here. I can't believe I've just said that about him. He's like my idol. But it would have to be a Benji esque uh, bottle job from here for us to not win it. 30 points clear going into the second half of the season. I mean, I'm glad we've done this because I've absolutely destroyed the wage budget to make sure that we can get through this season. I'm going to make a quick change actually. Let's take off, uh, let's take off Landegren and I'm going to bring on Karibo. At centre back because I just need to start playing a few players. Um, otherwise, the teams are going to get annoyed with me for not playing them. Uh, I'm going to get Hagman on as well for Patrick Wallin because I need to make sure he stays uh, fit and firing as well. So a few changes have come on. Well, they haven't come on yet, but they will do soon. If they score now, I'm going to regret that, aren't I? Fairlander, I'm going to regret it, aren't I? It's two one. Yeah, Hansen is not happy with the defence there. I'm not particularly happy with Hansen, to be fair. I thought Carlson might have a shot. It's a good effort there. And Thurlander, I mean, uh, can you really blame the defence there? Really? It's sort of trickled past you. Swedish Gary Nev has not been great, so I'm going to take him off and replace him with his brother Phil, which might be a bit dangerous because Phil is not great. But it looks like we're seeing it out. Oh, of course, there's a bloody highlight. Of course, there's a highlight. Hagman, who's come on, he gets hold of the ball. If it's us missing a chance, that's fine. Just don't let it be them. Hussein, he's at the bar. That could have been it. He's not scored yet today, but I think he's got a couple of assists. Oh, Hussein, that was a chance, mate. A really big chance. Oh, no. Galder over the ball. Oh, he's hit the bar. And Gorgos clears it. It's our turn now. Come on, boys. We've only got 20 seconds left to go. Hagman, come on, get a third and put it to bed. Hagman, over the ball, passes it to Phil. Go on, Phil. Shoot. Don't really. Hagman hits it. Mars over the bar. But I think he's hit it just far enough. It's probably gone into Finland, which is brilliant. Pettersson hits it down the line. Come on, boys. Come on, ref. You've blo There's, it's 23 seconds over the clock, mate. Hagman plays it to say, come on, ref, for God's sake. Yes! We made really hard work of that. Really hard work. But a 2-1 win. Very nice victory, boys. Well done. Ground out. Ahmed Hussain, again, playing at an 8. Phenomenal player. Phenomenal player. Seven wins on the bounce. Life is pretty good right now. I think the question now is, if we do go up, 
then do I stay here? Just sort of stat there that says that Ahmed Hussein is the most offside player in the league. He is offside twice as many times as the next highest player. Twice as many, 65 times he's been caught offside. Bring on on Salah, is what I say. This is the kind of game where I know now that like I'll lose my um, I'll lose the unbeaten run in this game. It's gonna happen, isn't it? You feel it. Okay, the day is here. On Sala Burger King are now here. Um, hopefully, we can get a result. Do I just go with the same team? Why have I lost a player? Oh no! It looks like someone's been recalled from loan because I wasn't playing them enough. That's annoying. In terms of the team, we go with the same lineup as we did last time. No need to change. Let's do it. Is that Milijevic? Can't be the the Milijevic from um from Palace. Surely can't be. Oh hello, Landegren stepped in well there. Wallin plays the ball for Ha uh, Headland. He finds Hussein. Hussein's in on goal. And when Ahmed Hussein goes in on goal, there's usually only one outcome. Bang, we're one 0 up. Brilliant counter attack. Lovely goal. We're just so good. This ball from Headland is phenomenal. And Hussein's just got the pace. He takes it across the defenders to make sure that he can't get to him. And a brilliant finish into the far corner. Love it. Brilliant stuff. It felt the highlight was a bit too quick. So let's slow it down slightly. But still quicker than normal. Wallen's taking a brilliant touch there. Wallen back to Romani. Romani. Oh, that's a lovely run. He finds Anderson. That's not a great finish. That's a really poor finish, actually. For God's sake, William. 15 points clear as it stands. 15 points clear. Romani whips the ball in. Back post. Thought Hussain was going to get on that. Gorgos on the ball. Who I have to say as well, Loki, one of the best signings I made. Gorgos to Anderson, he's hit the post. Should be two, should be two. Landegren picking up a yellow card is not great, because I think that means he's going to be suspended for the next game. So that's not ideal. Banks into Headland. Headland, Gorgos. Lovely boy, and by Gorgos, Anderson. He loves that back post header, and he just tries to always head it back across. And I just, ah, oh, yeah, just dance moves. <clears throat> don't know what that was. It's another highlight just before half time. We should really be two or three up here, and we're we've been really, really profligate, which is not like us. We usually we're so clinical. Not today. Wallin, brilliant ball to Headland. Please finish it. Square it. Square it. No, no need to. Great finish by Gustav Headland. His fifth of the season. Played a lot better than he did towards the end of last. But Patrick Wallin, at 37 years old, is incredible. <laughs> He's 37, I think, is Patrick Waller. 34, 37. He's absolutely phenomenal. What about that for a pass? What a run from Hedlund. He could have squared it if he wanted, and we would have scored, but he decided to finish it, such as the confidence of the man. 2-0, cruising. Love it. I mean, it's been a very dull second half. Nothing has happened, which is perfectly fine by me, as Gary Neville throws it into Anderson. Back to Romani. Grodhams. That's a lovely ball over the top to Anderson. See it, lad. Hussein, nearly. Oh my god. Why is that a highlight? Nothing happened. Four minutes of add on time in one of the most dominant away performances that you are ever likely to see. Four minutes of add on time are up. Another lovely win as we rack up our. I think that's our. What is that now? I think that's our 15th win of the season? Something like that? Something stupid like that? 15th win of the season. Which is unbelievable. It means we've drawn two games that's literally it that's the only games we've dropped points in two of them i mean we were predicted to finish fifth for god's sake and now look at us we're so far ahead um i think we're gonna get i think we're gonna get promoted i've got a funny feeling stem Preuss, like i said 17 goals and we kept him really really quiet to be honest if it carries on a bit like this i might just go straight to the end of the season we've got two relatively big games against the skills mine and whatnot i think what we'll do yeah, we'll come up for the end of the season, actually. I have to say, I know it seems a bit like a, a step forward, but if if anything drastic happens, if we start dropping points and it's going to get a little bit dramatic, then what I'll do is I'll come back earlier. But for the time being, let's come back for the season finale, which could be Itabi and Staff Singe uh, or Sassing. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out as we go. But as far as I'm aware, next time I'll see you will be at the end of the season, which is in October in this, and we're currently sat in July. So 
it feels like we're going to really, really ramp it up a little bit. And we are, because let's just face it, we've smashed through this second season. We're 13 points ahead. We've got so much to look forward to. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Of course, if you have, then please do drop a like on the episode. Share, subscribe. Make sure that you do come over and follow me on Twitch, where I'll be starting a brand new save. Go over there and figure out, well, come over and just have a little look at what it is. Hopefully, it'll be something that you haven't quite seen before, which I think will be very, very exciting. Thank you much, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Until I see you again.